Hey, good morning. Bob the Spider Hunter here. And you know, uh, uh, I'm working on a three or four part series a special uh, to upload soon or shortly on uh, the six spotted fishing spider, which I think you'll find very fascinating like I did. I have only seen that spider in the textbook, so to find one out in the wild, and actually several, I was thrilled. But more on that later. Uh, before I introduce that to you, I wanted to bring just, just a little fun, little special. Uh, I've been privileged or honored by a local uh, news team out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, an affiliate of ABC Network, and uh, they have a show they do uh, once a week, and usually on a Wednesday evening on the news broadcast, that's called Our Michigan Life. And they called me and wanted to know if they could do a story on Bob the Spider Hunter. So I was all in. So I, uh, we set aside some time to uh, interview me here at my home. Uh, let me take out some of my spiders and show that to them. And then they wanted to go out and take the, the film crew out into the woods and film me actually hunting. So I had a great time. I was really nervous because you know, uh, sometimes you get, don't always find a spider you're looking for. So didn't know what to expect, but we had a great time together. And uh, this is the uh, the uh, segment that was aired on that program uh, just uh, on September 4th, Wednesday evening. And I was just delighted. They did an awesome job. Uh, they did a lot of great splicing and putting things together, a lot of work, made it very, very humorful, funny, and, and, and a really good job. So uh, not only did I take my hat off to the, <laughs> to the uh, anchor host of that show, um, which is Brent Ashcroft and his, his film crew and those who I think worked on sound or, or, or music or whatever. Anyway, um, enjoy this, at least have a good laugh uh, as I was uh, interviewed and shown on uh, television, which, is, which to me was a great thrill and my neighbors loved it and people who know me just had, had a great time watching it. So without any further ado, here comes a special on Bob the Spider Hunter. Enjoy. Spiders. Spiders are here to stay. But honestly, they're no big deal. Yeah, you're so cute, aren't you? Let Bob the Spider Hunter explain why. He may just change your mind. Plenty of spiders in office places, your home, your basement's loaded with them. That may not be easy, but the only thing to fear is fear itself. And maybe spiders. When you get to know them, they're really fun creatures. Find your fear of spiders. Wednesday at 6 on 13 on your side. Something I do not like, though... Arachnophobia, it is the fear of spiders. It is very real. I have it. I also have a love-hate relationship with this story. So one man from Zealand, though, he doesn't really seem to mind spiders. In fact, he loves them. Bob McAndrews has turned his home, get this, into a spider zoo, creating habitats for them while he observes their behaviors and studies them. So why does he do this? Well, 13 on your side, Brent Ashcroft goes on a spider safari with Bob the Spider Hunter. Tonight at 6 o'clock in the latest edition of Our Michigan Life. You won't want to miss it. Arachnophobia is the fear of spiders, and it affects about 6.1% of the global population. Scientists have been bugged forever trying to figure out why spiders are so terror-inducing to some. Treatment, most effective technique, is exposure therapy. A Zealand man has spent the past 60 years infatuated with spiders. You're officially caught in his web in our Michigan life. This is a rare one. What is it about these... Really, really fast. Though. Creepy... She's pretty good size. Crawly... Come on, jump. ...creatures... Good girl. ...that causes such intense loathing. They're all around. Uh, you just don't see them. And fear. We'll check you out. Amongst the masses. You don't have to go any further than 8 feet, 12 feet, and you're, you're within the vicinity of a spider. Don't say that. Look what you've caused. These people were settled in, paying attention to this story. <laughs> okay. What are they most afraid of? Getting bit. But that won't happen. It has no reason to bite you. Right. You're just something to crawl on is a desire of mine is to help people get over their fears of spiders. That's encouraging to hear. And he had a couple of flies yesterday, so he's happy. 
Bob McAndrews is a self-proclaimed spider behaviorist. What they do and why they do it. Who studies them right down to their... They got their own techniques and maneuvers. <laughs> mating practices. If she's interested, she'll approach him, he'll approach her, and pretty soon, you know, uh, spider love happens. Whoa. We have about 300 baby spiderlings in here. Let's keep this G-rated, okay, Bob? <laughs> to create... This is my spider hat. <laughs> and add to his spider zoo. Get yourself a good repellent. He grabs gear. It's got breathable holes. I can bring it home, study it up close. And goes on spider safaris. Just like fishing, some days you go out, you may not even get a nibble. Crank up the yuck factor. We don't know what we're going to find today, but hopefully it'll be a successful adventure. Let's go. We're going in search of these eight-legged nightmares. It just takes a glimmer of sunlight to light up a webbing. With Bob, the spider hunter. We've got a spider at home. That didn't take long. Web's right by this tree here. Where's the spider? She's in her web nest. It's sleeping? Come on out, sweetie, wake up. Wait, you're waking it up? <laughs> what if it gets angry? They always run right to the center of their webs. That was easy. This is an orb weaver. She's got some nice coloration. Nice pattern. She also got bored. Enough of this daytime stuff. And went back to bed. <laughs> the hunt rolled on. He searched high. Ah, here we go. Low. What's this? Oh, here's something. I'm going to go in this creepy place. Inside. All right, just going to check this log. Underneath. There she comes. Bob's spider radar. Nice little grass spider. Kept finding them. Oh, got another one. One. Two day long legs is three day long legs. After. Mm, don't go anywhere. I want you. Another. Are you kidding me? Spider don't escape Bob the spider hunter. No truer words have ever been spoken. She's not going to cooperate and sit still for us. <laughs> Can't imagine why. There's spiders all over the place. Onward. For every one you see, you walk by about five or six of them. Piece of spider hunting advice. Where are you? If you look too closely. Ah. Good morning. Time to wake up. You may find more than what you're looking for. Ooh, she may have a boyfriend as well. Reminder, Bob, G-rated. Gonna see if I can uh, coax her out of it. No, we're not interrupting. <laughs> Leave them be to do their thing. That's just gross. On that note... We saw enough. The hunt ended. Go down to your bed. Spiders aren't just Bob's pets. Yeah, you're so cute, aren't you? Yeah. Or his projects got a beautiful pattern. They're his friends. Yeah, I talk baby talk to the spiders, sorry. Who get a bad rap. Just one other animal we're sharing the earth with. Bob the spider hunter will do this until I can't do it anymore. Or until he can convince everybody they don't have to fear. That one fries my noodles. <laughs> these creepy crawly creatures. Bye girl. There's still a holy grail spider in the world that Bob hasn't seen with his own eyes yet. It's the peacock spider, which can only be found in Australia. Bob the Spider Hunter has a YouTube channel where all of his adventures can be viewed. We have a direct link to that on the web version of this story. That can be found at 13onyourside.com. I love him. He's such a character. Oh, he was just fantastic to hang out with and talked all the time. And he could find the spiders in the woods better than anybody oh, I've ever goodness. seen. Not that I've ever seen anybody no. go hunting for spiders before until I was on that hunt. I, there's I, that. I will say one thing about the exposure therapy. That would not work on my wife. No. Yeah. She will throw shoes at them from distance, yeah. hoping to hit one. See, I liked spiders before. I like them even better now. So inviting Bob over to see your wife with a bunch of his spiders wouldn't go over very well. But I'd pay to see it. You would. Yeah. Oh, Front yeah. Front row seat. Yeah. Hot ticket in town right there. <laughs> Thank you, Brent. That Absolutely. was fun. <laughs> <laughs> you got to love it. I watched that several times, and every time I watch it, I just have to crack up. They did a great job uh, presenting me as Bob the Spider Hunter, and even though it was a few things were taken out of context and spliced for some great humor. Um, I, I loved it.
it. Um, anyway, if, if you like what you saw here, and it's the first time you visited my channel, um, you can you can click the little icon right over here and sub to my channel. And also, uh, at the very end, I'll be posting a link to WZZM Channel 13 Grand Rapids, so you can read the rest of the story that's there and see some other uh, things that uh, they put in pictures uh, and my, my little zoo I shared with them, as they called it. Be sure to stay tuned for some upcoming attractions that you're going to see on my YouTube channel. There's a four-part series I'm working on that I'm really excited about bringing to you. It's on the six-spotted fishing spider, an awesome spider, and I think you'll enjoy it. But coming up next will be my first uh, September, uh, the first week of September hunt for some spiders that have been uh, plumping up, if you will, uh, over the summer. So stay tuned for those. Have yourself a great day. Thanks for being with me, and we'll see you next time.